Welcome everyone on a perfect night for football with the floodlights beaming down. My name is Derek Ray and sitting alongside me in the commentary position is the former Arsenal and West Ham midfield player Stuart Robson. And what we have coming up for you is live coverage of Liga Unu. How's it going to go Stuart? Well Derek, as is always the case, the team that dominates midfield would be the team that controls the flow of the game. And that for me is the area that's key today. Well, here is the lineup for the hosts today. Well, it's a 4 3 3 formation with a centre forward and two wingers. So it's important that the midfield players give support to the striker whenever the ball goes wide. They can't allow him to be isolated. Let's have a look at the initial 11 for the visitors. Well, although we have it down as a 4-5-1, it's actually more likely to be a 4-2-3-1. They play with two holding midfield players, a number 10 and two wingers. The system has a nice balance to it. And the match begins. A danger here as he runs at them. An alert intervention. Could be troublesome. Superb defensive judgment to end the attack. Saeed. Keeping the ball moving. Oh, big chance! Oh, that was a chance to give them an early advantage. Well, they should be off to a flyer here. And that was a poor effort. He must hit the target. could really get at the opposition could cross it in here well to be blunt misfiring with the header Oh, moving it nicely. A good and fair challenge. Can they forge ahead? And able to get a body in the way. Brichage. Lukas Tropa. A oh, terrific pass. Oh, tremendous goal! Technical excellence to finish that one off. Wonderful to have that in your repertoire. Well, here's the replay, and it's a really inviting ball played into the box, begging players to attack it. And what a great finish it is. Struck with power and accuracy, certainly no stopping that.
So underway again here. One nil the score. Tanase. Said. Another successful intervention, winning the ball back. Well, as you can see, the hosts have had much less of the ball, but what they've done with it has been really good, and they'll be happy with the way the game is being played at the moment. They love to play on the counter-attack. And given the defender's touch, the referee says corner. Can someone get on the end of this? He succeeds in clearing it. Touched onto the woodwork. And he's clear his lines. Can they hit on the break? Can they keep it going? Well, players back in position now. Looking for that final pass and for that chance to level the game. Looking confident with the ball at his feet. Could play it in. Untidy in possession. That's a good looking ball. And space for them here on the flank. And possibilities here. Well, he needed to read it to get there, and did. That's plenty of know-how in the... Surely! Well, hit with power and almost the right precision. And one minute of stoppage time has been added on. And there it is, the half-time whistle. Well, he's been the standout for his side so far, don't you think, Stuart? Well, it was certainly a good first 45 minutes for the lad. Obviously, he got his goal to put them in front, but he's looked lively throughout too. Hopefully, we see more of him in the second half. And the match begins. Plenty to consider based on what we've seen so far as the second half begins. Tanase. That's how to rob them of possession. Lukas Tropa. Oh, good use of the ball. A decisive clearance it was. Saeed. And the counter-attack on. Options available. And it looked like open road for them, but up a dead end. Tropa. Could be troublesome. Will it happen for them? It has to be. There it is. Two to the good now. And that gives them a buffer. Well, here's the replay, and you see it was a good finish. But the keeper at his near post has to do a lot better. He's got to have that near post covered for me. So, 2-0 now.
Well, as you can see, the visitors have had most of the ball, but they've shown a real lack of invention today. One or two of their more talented players need to step up now to get them back into this game. So a throw in here. Not a touch off the defender, last of all, so a corner. And over it comes, well cleared away. Lukas Stroppa. And they'll get ready for the throw in. Said. Failed to keep hold of it. Well, he likes to run at them. We're getting right on top of their opponents and winning it back. And there to intervene. Moving into the advanced position. Promising pass. And Said in possession. Can he finish? Not on the target. And who knows, that might very well be that. Well, that's a bad miss and probably ends their hopes here. Have a go here. Oh, at one point on its flight, it looked as though it might be going in. Well, he wasn't afraid to have a go, was he? And you can see why. That was so close to being a great goal. Substitution time it is here. And a good-looking ball. And just five minutes remaining. Tamash. Dropa. Gabriel Tamash. Three minutes of added time here. He has time to play it over. He read the situation defensively and did his job. And there it is, the final whistle. The home fans are going to be happy with this result. Well, Derek, they were better than their opponents in all aspects of the game. They defended well enough, they dominated midfield, and they created chances as well. It was a great performance.
But it just seems in this game, he's been a step ahead of his opponents in every way, Stuart. Well, he scored a good goal, he hit the woodwork and was a constant threat. So overall, he should be really pleased with his display today.